Hi, I'm Jan from Swiss Maritime Academy and I'm gonna show you now which radio set we are using on our radio courses and how you can handle them. It's like a briefing and we start with the hardware. This is our radio, it's a standard Horizon GX1500E and uh, this radio set is connected to this little thing here which we call a push to talk. There's a microphone in here. If you want to transmit something, so you talk, you first push and then you start talking and to receive something, you just release that push to talk button and you probably receive something. That's what you're going to use for talking. Here is a speaker in your hardware, so that's where the sound's coming out. All these knobs and buttons here, we're going to talk about uh, afterwards when we switched it on. On the back of your radio set, you have uh, several connections. There is an antenna here, so that goes to the antenna here. You have the power cable here, so that goes to the battery which is 12 volt in a yacht, as you might know. And this one here is usually connected to a GPS, which this set here isn't, because we are going to train uh, how to enter a GPS position in that radio set manually. So, to switch that radio on, to make it ready to use, first, you want to use these two little things here. So you go with the squelch, you go on completely zero, and also the same with the volume. So to make sure it's not too noisy when you switch it on. To switch it on, you just press on that volume for a long time. So you can see that it should be channel 16. And if you now uh, raise the volume a little bit, you will start a pretty loud noise. And that is the, the noise from the squelch. And as soon as you're happy with your volume, you want to stop that noise with the squelch. So it looks like this. And with the squelch, you want to find exactly the position where the noise stops. <clears throat> with this little, uh, with this big button here, you can, in this situation here, change your channel to whichever channel you use for uh, radio communication. If you're somewhere and you want to go back to channel 16, just use the red 16 knob button here, and uh, you're back to 16. If we go down here, you have this. HL button and that is to change your transmitting power from high power to low power. You can see in the display that it changes up here. Usually you have low power for very close communication as you might know because you did the course already. Uh, just next to it you have something which is called DW which is stays for a dual watch. What you can do here is you can stay on a working channel and if you go on dual watch, you are on watch on channel 16 and, in this situation, channel 25. To go out of dual watch, you just press dual watch again and you are on channel 25. Or you press channel 16 and you are on channel 16. <clears throat> Pretty simple. Here you have enter or clear. Enter usually is one step forward and clear is usually one step backwards. Over here you have a scan mode, so that you can use that to scan various um, channels. <clears throat> we are not going to use that in, uh, in our exam. And down here you have a menu which, co uh, which says uh, call, or if you press that button a little longer, you go in a special menu. I'm going to show you the menu first, so you press for a long time. You have a radio setup menu, and you have a DSC setup menu. <clears throat> to go in one of these menus, you can choose with the big knob here which menu you want to choose and just with enter you go one step ahead. This is your individual directory, which uh, is like on your mobile phone, your uh, directory with the telephone numbers. And you have a group directory down here. And this is about what you have to use here. If you are interested in your own personal user, MMSI, you can go in here and have a look at it. It's not possible to change that anymore because it's stored and it stays there. Uh, so we go back with clear. I go back again with clear. If you go on a radio setup, it's just set up stuff like dimmer, contrast. If you like to have a watch uh, priority channels, it just kind of um, customize your, your radio. Okay, no, that's it. Um, if you go to the call menu, that's where the DSC call situations are. So you can do an individual call or you can do a group call. 
uh, and various other stuff we are actually not using. All these different um, menus we are going to talk about in uh, different movies because they are dedicated to exactly, say, individual DSC calling. <clears throat> one other button I actually forgot was the one underneath here. Kind of pretty important one. So if you want to do a, a distress alert, you just lift that little lid and then you just press here. You can designate your distress situation, capsizing, press for another five seconds and out it goes. But we're going to talk about that in our how to launch a distress DSC alert movie, which is coming up soon. Thank you for listening. See you soon.